people of the people, but the policies that we have in place kill way more of us. We have demons in this country that bedevil the country, such as tribalism, where you would have a governor who spends more time in the media than governing the, his county, and, and I would like to call out the, the governor of the county of Nyeri, who has the audacity to say that he wants seven CS positions in government. Who does he think he is that he will demand for CS positions based on a tribal basis? When we call for a lean government, we are calling for a government that is based on competence and meritocracy. We will not, we will, we will cross those bridges when we get there but for now by Jove we want to clean and drain this swamp because whatever is happening to us now is tantamount to organized anarchy when we have less than a thousand people being richer than the 55 million of us that is tantamount to anarchy and that's why I consistently have said that corruption is tantamount to genocide corruption is genocide we are facing a genocide problem where the political class directly does not care about about killing the dreams, the lives, the ambitions, and the hopes of millions of its citizenry, and all they are obsessed with is property and the question, what next? We do not need to figure that out. We know that this is not working for us, and we will not tolerate it. We, would do not, we, do, we are still not ripe enough to figure out who is going to be the leader of whatever it is. We have to do the cleanse first, and then we will decide what we are bringing back into the house. Um, so. Let's focus on now. So there's talks of a, uh, of, there's talks about talks. Um, there's talks of a broad-based uh, government. Does that solve the problem, Manjira? No, 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 no. Uh, I think we've been very clear that we do not want to have a dialogue with uh, murderers, with corrupt people, with people who don't care for the people. We know that they don't care. They, they don't have to. T the other thing is the president is such a liar always lying every time he opens his mouth to talk to the public. Lying, he's lying. Yeah, even Ford Foundation said, yo, your president lied. We, we are not working with him. So losing domestic, uh, what is it called, credibility and even international credibility. Uh, why do we sit down and say, fine, let's talk? Uh, our demands have been out there. Why is the person who killed Rex on the streets of Kenya today killing protesters? Didn't we say we do not want extrajudicial killings anymore? And the president comes and says, my government, there will be no extrajudicial executions. Yet we have 50 Kenyans who have lost their lives in the last three weeks. So we don't want lies. We don't want to sit down with people who, who honestly have absolute disregard for the rule of law and the constitution, which is our leader as the Gen Z movement, which is our leader as the young people of this nation. The constitution is our Bible, is our Quran, is our reference point moving forward. We want to institutionalize our movement constitutionally. And that is why we are saying Article 43 of the Kenyan constitution which promises social justice for the people of Kenya. The right to water, Yvonne. Imagine all those years since independence, we still don't have water in some parts of this country. Housing, uh, education, healthcare, those are issues that are basic. And now this new alternative political leadership is about discussing about those matters at our community level, at that grassroots level. Can we talk about how do we ensure we, uh, we have water in the community? How do we ensure, you know, those practical issues, social justice and alternative political leadership? They have to go hand in hand, and the Constitution needs to be the reference point for anything that happens uh, in the country. The other thing about the question of uh, what next that you have just asked again, uh, we can have a transitional uh, committee that is multi-sectoral, that we have experts come in, that we have, the, we have as young people, we have, the, we have everybody who has the best interest of this country that uh, we now consult. I've talked about collective intellect. Everybody has something to offer. And our country is not short of professionals that can move the country forward. There's going to be no vacuum, really. Everybody can see that this other crop of leadership is, uh, let me not use that word, but yeah, you know, uh, and we are saying, if you cannot take us to Canaan, we can take ourselves. We see it. Mm. We want to go there. Mm. Do not stop us. And the thing that has been irking us the most is the killings. Why would you kill us? Why would you send killer police with their, with, 
What is that? As we are just looking at this, like, right. has these people what, lost what their minds? What weak system? What weak system is this that we live in? What weak police system is this that the only time they can showcase their prowess in terms in the line of fire is while firing at innocent protesters who?